Hello, my cherished friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl. I'm just heading off to work, but sometimes on my way home, I like to stop at the thrift store and do some doll hunting. So I'm going to bring you along and we'll see what we can find today. After work, of course. Bye for now. Hi everybody. Well, it's after work now and now I get to have some fun. Let's look at some dolls. Now today, our local Valley Village seems to be fairly well stocked with an abundance of used dolls and toys. There's a couple of OG girls and I'm always amused and uh, surprised to see the condition of some of the dolls once they've been played with by children. This one here, I wasn't sure what she did. She's got a button on her tummy. She might be a sparkle girl. I can't remember the name. I think this is a My Life As. This one was kind of cute and interesting. Honestly, I'm not a fan of the Baby Alive dolls with the great big heads and open mouths. I think that's what this brand here is. But it had a really cute little koala bear costume on that I was quite um, interested in, so I took a pretty good look at it. Here's a little soft-bodied Rapunzel doll, kind of cute. She has a long veil, looks like she's in a wedding gown. I don't collect those. And here's a, a bell doll. Lots of Disney characters here. And baby dolls, which I'm not really into this sort of baby doll. Here's a little OMG doll, LOL doll, that had her full costume on and it looks like her original hairstyle and earrings. She was only slightly messed up. A little velour tracksuit, I did set her to the side. Little Cabbage Patch Baby. Here's a little mermaid doll, similar to that Rapunzel dolly with a soft body. Her hair was made out of fabric. <laughs> More baby dolls. Looks like some parents have done a big purge right before Christmas, before all the new toys come. This doll caught my eye. She was very interesting. Look at her pretty red curls. Well, she's got purple in there too. And her eyes and her little boots. Her costume was very detailed. She seemed to be really good quality. And I tried to look at the back of her neck, but I just couldn't get close enough to see the brand. So if anybody, if any of you out there know who this doll is or what the brand is, please let me know in the comments. I thought she was just charming. Yeah, I was taking a pretty good look at her and then I saw the price tag. $19.99 was quite high for a second-hand doll. Barbie in a little Christmas sweater. And 
Woody? This is a Lala Loopsy. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's not really a type of doll I collect, but I know they're popular with the kids. Lots of Barbies. Supergirl. Now this could be a weird Barbie for sure. <laughs> I had a pretty good look at her. A little Ariel doll. I always find lots of Ariel at the thrift store in various conditions. Now this one was quite interesting. She was a beautiful Rapunzel doll. I was perplexed by what was under her skirt. She must have some kind of an animation or a singing mechanism. And her hair was really long. She had a really pretty face too. This one was really pretty with the pink hair. Not sure about the pink legs though. I'm not a fan of the colored legs. Another little Ariel, but I think her hair had been cut. This one was so beautiful. Again, with the colored legs, so I'm not sure why they do that. Maybe to look like they have stockings on to match their dress. I'm not sure if that's a Cindy or a Totsy doll. She looked a little bit vintage. She had lots of hair. <laughs> and this, I think, might have been a Barbie extra. Just judging by the way her hair is with all the colors and the earrings and the top. I'll have to do a bit of research, but yeah, I think that she might have been a Barbie extra. I'm not sure who that is. I think a pop star of some kind or another. And there's another LOL doll, unfortunately missing her costume. This Barbie had an interesting little costume on. It looked like a work uniform. So there's my little pile of things I was thinking of from all of those dolls. Those were the best. And I wanted to check out other areas of the store as well. There was lots of Christmas stuff around. A little Santa collection here. And look at that set of drums. That'll make some kid really happy this Christmas, whoever gets that. And there was a little bag of dolls here. I couldn't quite identify them. I thought at first they might be Dawn dolls, but no, they look more modern, probably Fisher Price or something like that. And here's a collection of angels. with a Santa thrown in for good measure. <laughs> I like how they put all the Santas together and the angels together and the snowmen together. And here are some more Santas. Unfortunately, the one on the end there had a broken head. I cut that part out. This little tree was super cute. This little miniature 
decoration with Santa and all the teddy bears on the tree. I just thought it was adorable. Little Jack in the box and a nutcracker, a bag of toys. This was a really interesting snow globe. In fact, I don't think I realized it was a snow globe when I first picked it up till I turned it over to see the price. $19.99 seems to be a common price today, but look at the snow in that. I thought that was really cute. I should have picked that up. We're in the knick-knack section here and these little shoes were cute. A real mixture of childhood decor and um, things from people traveling, souvenirs, <laughs> random things. You never know when you're gonna find a treasure. There's another boot. A little wooden beer stein. I think it's more of a decor piece. I don't think you would want to put any liquid in there. It's made of wood, so, but it's beautifully decorated. This kind of blue mountain pottery is quite collectible. And this was a really cute figurine. I, I love these kinds of things, but I just don't have room to keep them all. So I try to stick to the dolls. I do have a few little animal figurines in my collection. And a little Disney themed figurine. Baby Simba. Getting to some dolls again going towards the porcelain doll section. I actually found an Addy doll in the porcelain doll section uh, one time at this store and I've, I did a whole video on it. You can look back and find that one if you're interested. This was a really interesting sculpture. This metal horse sculpture with a rider. <laughs> Interesting to look at. And another pretty figurine. And some funny ones. <laughs> Now that watermelon, I think that might have been a salt and pepper. I didn't take a close enough look at it, but it was pretty neat. And I thought this little kitty figurine was adorable. Looks like it was made out of clay. The shelves were very stocked, I have to say, and such a mixture of things. I was going through rather quickly. Um, sometimes when I have more time, I do spend more time and pick up more objects and look at the bottom and see what the maker is. At first glance, you might miss something if you don't take a closer look.
And these little Japanese dolls were quite charming. Looks like they had inset eyes. They were porcelain with beautiful little kimono on. They were kneeling. Her little hair decoration fell out, but she caught it. <laughs> and there's a third one there. Oh, and a tall lady. She has some damage to her face, so it looks like. Her kimono is beautiful. An interesting wooden bird. I think it's a peacock. Made in Indonesia. And here we are in the porcelain doll section. There aren't as many as usual. There were a bit of a mix of dolls here. This little girl had a Christmas outfit on, it looked like. <laughs> Short little legs. So I'm digging around in here to see if there's any special dolls. There's a little Precious Moments plush doll back there. <laughs> a funny clown. I know some people don't really like clowns. I'm not really a fan either, unless they're cute and friendly. She's cute. And a really nice bear. I loved his face. <laughs> Looks like he's wearing a hand knit sweater made by someone. This was some kind of a grad bouquet, so I guess a teddy bear bouquet. <laughs> An interesting idea. Winnie the Pooh in the middle and all the little graduating bears there. Little ballerina doll. Oops, sorry, I hope I didn't scare you with that one. A lot of handmade items here, crafting type dolls. Now this little clown was cute. I, I made his hat fall off so I had to adjust him but I really liked all his colors and he was porcelain and small, cute. <laughs> So yeah, that was about it for the porcelain doll section. Oh, little Anne of Green Gables here. I, I do have one of those already, given to me by a good friend. And here we are on the snowmen. Back to the Christmas decor.
Again, with a Santa thrown in for good measure. <laughs> Santa on a Harley. And those were very nice pottery Santa figurines. I actually have that piano playing Santa uh, Snowman. He doesn't play anymore, but it's still in my Christmas decor. Everything you need for Christmas dinner here. Now this little item here I really liked. I wish I'd picked it up now. It's a little salt and pepper uh, set. Snowman with a package. It's really unique. If you like Christmas villages, ah, there was lots to choose from here. Some nutcrackers. My good friend loves collecting nutcrackers. Little souvenir doll. Peanuts, little figurine. These were really cute wine charms. A couple more nutcrackers hiding there behind the metal Christmas trees. And down on the bottom, I uncovered a little doll. She still looked brand new in box with all of her outfits and her curlers and her brush and comb set. We're getting to the end of our shopping day. Last few things on the shelf. And Merry Christmas to everyone. Hello everyone, I'm back from work and I did some thrifting as I said after work and we have Penny here thinking about <laughs> jumping around on my counter. So I hope you enjoyed my little doll hunt today. Uh, there was a lot of dolls to search through. I didn't see a lot that I loved. There were some cute ones and some pretty ones that I set aside and I was thinking about and uh, lots of Christmas stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour of my local thrift store and we'll go again another time and hopefully find some real treasures. Have a wonderful day everybody and enjoy your Christmas preparations. I'm going to be baking some cookies with my niece this weekend uh, so I'm looking forward to that. We'll talk to you all really soon. Bye-bye!